John Jones in trouble, uh, assaulted and threatened a testing agent that came to his house who's trying to collect a urine sample. Now, I think most people, oh, here's John again, because you're used to him having these mistakes and doing these knucklehead things. And I went, because you've really been around the block, I went, mm, I don't know. And then John Jones got kind of out in front of it and issued a statement. So it came out that it was four o'clock in the afternoon in Albuquerque. The whoever there, it's not USADA. The testing agent is a is a male female came to his house. He was taking a nap, and they woke him up again. This is four p.m. So whatever, four p.m. nap. Little little late in the day for me to be taking a nap, but to each its own. I don't know what he's doing out there. So they wake him up, and they ask him to you know they they're going to randomly drug test him, and the female. Um, drug tester agent said that he verbally threatened her and what else cussed at her and was aggressive and all this stuff and she went to the cops okay and so so as according to the report martinez claimed jones was initially cooperative with testing agents but became agitated which most would when he was unable to immediately provide a urine sample probably didn't have to pee although when i wake up from nap i gotta pee so hard so that's a whole nother discussion i gotta pee so hard like a super soaker uh, martinez goes on to allege that jones appeared intoxicated even though he's napping and told the agents why you fucking people come so early remember it's 4 p.m in the afternoon uh, do you know what happens to people who come to my house? They end up dead. Not great. She also uh, alleges John Jones threatened to sue them. Can't. What, what were you going to tell the cops there? Uh, the officer handled the report, noted he reviewed the video on Martinez's phone in which Jones appeared to state, here is fucking Jer This is kind of funny. Here's Jerome and his girlfriend in my garage, and then cut. Then the phone cut off. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely think they got there. John was a little prickly. And Price said some unprofessional stuff. I think they were unprofessional. Then John posted a video as they're leaving of him hugging and high fiving them. So if her life was really threatened, I don't know if you're hugging and high five. And she went for the high five. Mm -hmm. John didn't. So right away, I smell bullshit here. I smell bullshit. I bet you the UFC, A, We'll see how long she has her job, right? Or we'll see how she might keep her job, but she's sure probably not going to be working with UFC fighters. You just can't. You can't have it. You can't have it. You woke up a fighter. He was upset. Said some off-colored things, whatever. And then you went to the cops, especially John Jones. You know. Mm -hmm. And again, of course, everyone's like, "Oh God, here goes John again." Not me. I'm like, "Oh, this, I smell bullshit here." Because how easy it for this. DFSI agent for sure changed the name, but the DFSI agent to go to the cops and the cops are like, Oh God, here we go again. You know, he's too easy of a target. He could have been nicer. 100%. Did he break the law? Absolutely not. You know, you're also yeah. randomly coming to a guy's house. Who's taking a nap, asking him to take a piss. Yeah. They're not going to be exactly the most friendly person in the world. And he's buzzed from a party that he had with his, friend's birthday thing whatever yeah, he's so cussing he's like, and whatever he's like what the fuck you know he's probably pissed <clears throat> you know so it's just all bull it's all shame you know you just don't need it now we you know wasn't when john had the incident with his wife wasn't he saying he's done drinking and then you know there's been things that pop up like when he went to that stand-up comedy show in albuquerque he's yeah. like heckling the stand up he's but just, very nicely though yeah but he's yeah. hammered he's you know i thought hammered. it was like hey i thought you weren't drinking yeah. anymore but whatever and then this clearly drinking you know he says he was having a friend's party at his house mm -hmm. which teach its own you know he's a grown-ass man doesn't have a fight coming up it's more worrisome you know you see him drunk in public heckling the the comedian and often stuff. drunk too. yeah so uh i just think he's too easy of a target too easy of a target i guarantee this he's like come on man you know not, not with john with with the with the agents and that that organization that they hired to do these drug testing like that it probably ain't the move you know and she's a liability crazy liability yeah if there's no like harm or something just i don't know that's weird and also by the way he threatened was, to sue us the catholic what do you want us to do with that yeah uh there were also false reports of him being actually arrested and taken into custody but that's not true tell me man, be, was, care, be careful when you jump to 
conclusion on this stuff. You know, and what I think saying? it was NBC News or something like that. NBC, like legit, ABC, yeah. ESPN, major MMA outlets. You know, it's not good. It's not good. But he was officially charged, at least for assault. And then, uh, obviously, in court, they're going to find out what actually happened. And this is Jones's statement on it. Um, it's too long, but basically said that yeah, he's he was never really actually arrested. It's just a misinformation. In fact, I'm currently in text with my daughter at a volleyball tournament. Uh, I understand that maybe easy target given some of my past issues. That's what's going on mm -hmm. here. Uh, I was recently visited by testers, celebrating a birthday, taking a nap. I mean, who naps during the middle of a party, though? When you drink a lot, man. Especially when it's your house. <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. <laughs> uh, that's trouble. Um, the tester, so, I'm prof the, so he's saying they're on professional and the protocol by one testers, which caused frustration, leading me to use some profanity, whatever. Which admits, yeah. yeah. Who cares? Okay. I regret, however, I want to emphasize that at no point did I threaten or get in anyone's face, raise my voice, or engage in any form of assault. If he assaulted her, trust me, she's not walking out giving him a high, high five. five. Yeah. It's unfortunate that false news has been spread without proper fact checking. That's the world today, John. I want to assure you that I will defend myself against these accusations. Truth is, is the incident simply did not occur. We got to get rid of her. You got to fire her. I mean, the footage is on his side for sure. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm assuming his camera's inside too, right? I would assume. Hmm. Yeah, it's all just garbage, just clickbait. From the UFC, I, I, I probably distanced myself from that agency. You just don't need it. Or that agent in particular. Because the other dude didn't do anything. She's the one that filed the report. Uh, why didn't the other dude speak up? You were there, he man. Had no problem. I you guess. saw it? What happened? Did you see John Fisco assault her? Like, he's the key witness here. Yeah. Well, that's a good point. So, when they go to trial. Have we heard anything from him? I haven't heard anything. The problem is, are they friends? What's going on here? You know? So, if they both, you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure together. he doesn't want to get in, like. If it never happened, he's going to be like. I'm torn now. She's my buddy. I can't like. But also, how stupid her. is it where, I mean, if John Jones assaulted you, there'd be a nine one one call. I mean, I mean, John it's a, Jones. It's like a verbal. That's it's considered assault when you threaten people, which is yeah. Who knows actually what happened? But it, hopefully, you also our, our woke cameras. a drunk dude up from a nap, <laughs> like a bear from hibernation. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a. It's all just crap. You know, it's just one more thing John has to deal with. You gotta get rid of those that testing agency. Just all of them. Just burn them to the ground. Also, just quit testing them. It's kind of funny. Like they're popping up more and more in the news. After, ever since like Usada left, they you know, Walt Harris. There's like two other you know athletes that got tested and popped like recently. Yeah, it's all not good. Then your boy Mar uh, Morgan Whalen. Morgan Wallen, yeah, not good. Threw a chair over a balcony at yeah. a bar. Another guy that probably needs to lay low on the alcohol. To throw a chair at your success level, it's kind of like, what are you doing, dude? But I mean, who knows what happened? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, I love him, so. Yeah, I love yeah. him too. I, you know, but just cut, tighten up, dude. Yeah. Like, don't throw chairs when you're that famous. <laughs> what are you doing? At man? a bar where there's cameras everywhere. Yeah, yeah, just, and you're, you know, I don't know. 